And now for the Milkman Homicide. On April 12, 1968, a boarding milk truck, just like this one, was found out here next to this uh, wooded area on a street in uh, Vero Beach. Next to the truck was the body of the milkman. He had two bullet holes in him, and this became known as the milkman homicide. And it was the oldest case in Indian River County. This week, Sheriff Flowers was able to announce that the case had been at least partially solved. Here's the story. The victim was a man named Hiram Russ Graham, known as Russ to his friends. He was 47 years old, and he had been born in Akron, Ohio. He served in World War II, and after World War II, in fact, in 1946, he moved uh, with his whole family here to uh, Vero Beach and got a job as a Borden's milkman. He was uh, very active in veterans' organizations in the years following World War II, and uh, he was uh, sorely missed by all of his family. Now, at the time of the homicide, the initial investigation found that there had been two witnesses who separately saw two men enter Ross's, uh, Ross Graham's truck and uh, saw him take off on a road that ended up leading down to, uh, to this road where the truck was ultimately found. It took the police uh, a full 24 hours to find it. They had to put a Piper Cub airplane up in the air to, to find it. And that started the first of what would turn out to be 16 investigations into the thing now called the milk van homicide. The case broke in 2022 when an inmate in the Indian River County Jail reported that the killer, one of the killers of uh, uh, Russ Graham, was a man named Thomas Jefferson Williams. Now, Williams had uh, died uh, from nat natural causes in 2016. The inmate in the jail said that he found out about this from uh, a, confession, a confession that uh, Williams had made to his, uh, to his then wife. Uh, they, the wife was subsequently divorced, and after uh, 2016, when this guy Williams uh, died of natural causes, she felt uh, safe enough to report this confession to this guy in the prison. So he tells the Indian River cops, the cold case unit, about uh, Thomas Jefferson Williams, and the police conduct an investigation. And first, of course, they investigate the ex-wife, and uh, she reports, yes, he did t uh, confess to that. Uh, and also, they investigated a girlfriend that uh, Williams had had, who said that he also confessed to the same crime to her. So now they got two uh, people who were claiming that uh, Williams had uh, confessed to the murder. They did some subsequent investigations, and uh, they determined they had enough evidence, in fact, to say that Williams, even though he was dead, was the actual murderer of one of the two murderers of uh, Russ Graham. Well, this wasn't the first time that uh, Thomas Jefferson Williams had shown up on the police radar. What had happened was that in 2006, a local TV station ran a uh, kind of a special report on uh, uh, the milk ban homicide uh, following one of the uh, many, the 16 uh, investigations that the Indian River County Police ran. And uh, Williams uh, was aggravated by the thing because apparently his name came up in this uh, uh, TV report. So he wrote a letter to the editor, well, you know, really complaining about being accused of being a killer. And uh, that put him on the police radar. They interviewed him, and they had a strong, very strong suspicion that uh, he was one of the two guys who got into uh, Graham's truck. 
uh, but they really couldn't uh, lock it down permanently. That is until uh, two, uh, 2022 when the inmate at uh, Indian River County Jail reported that uh, Williams had confessed at different times to his ex-wife to his ex-wife and his ex-girlfriend. And uh, that more or less did it. Now, uh, that, of course, is half the case because we know that there were two murderers. The police believe that they know the identity of the second killer. They're pretty certain that they've got it. What they don't have is enough evidence to... uh, uh, make an arrest and what they're doing is they're asking the public and I'm going to join in that request if you know anything whatsoever about the milkman homicide please call Crime Stoppers the number is right here on the screen Uh, they will appreciate any information that they get and bear in mind just like with the ex-wife and the ex-girlfriend Williams is dead. There is no risk, no danger from Thomas Jefferson Williams. And uh, we're all hoping to bring some closure to the remaining members of the Graham family. There are still 29 cold cases that Eric Flowers needs to investigate. And he's got the right guys, the cold case unit, working on it. Okay, back to the recap. That's all for this edition of the Weekly Recap. See you next week.